This may look familiar to some people, but this is a Grass Valley model 110 control panel. And that is an ATM 2ME uh, software control panel. And this is controlling that. And as we can see here, I can change the cross points here. As you can see, it's changing them up there. Change the preview bus. It's changing them up there. And currently, this is the key row. And you can see as I'm changing it over here, it's changing it over there. That that will eventually be able to resign to uh, the aux buses and any other input buses just by changing simple keys. Um, you can see here's a mix, wipe, um, backgrounds, keys, uh, auto trans, um, and the fader. Here's the, come back here, you can see the fader. That's the fader doing its business. Um, all these, all these um, different knobs are all assignable to um, whatever. Um, this um, this is the trans, so you can actually select between uh, um, auto trans, which is the rate of, of this. Um, there's the DSK mix um, and the fade to black. And then if I go up to, let's just go to um, auto trans. If I go up to the transition over here, I'm doing this one-handed, that's why it's a bit difficult. Uh, there's the transition, there's the mix right there. Uh, and you can see that says 115, that says 40, because that's frames and that's seconds and frames. So if I actually start just rolling this backwards and forwards, you'll see there it is changing there. I'm still doing it up here. Changing it, changing it there. Now this um, particular display can also be set up um, because the, the mixer has internal adjustments um, which are actually accessible down through here and um, if, if those of you who have got it you'll see it down in here there's a little there's a little trim pot in there and up this side here there's a little trim pot up in up in there now those those can be adjusted um, and I've set it up so that the um, editor enable button on on here I've set it up so that it's actually a shift button so if I just want to turn on editor enable I can hold the button down I'll just hit that select button there and it, then it becomes editor enabled um, but if I want to actually use a display to line up the fader I can just hold down the editor enable button and hit the select over here and it comes up and shows you E as a, as a value and that says it's uh, it's going to evaluate the, the position of the fader so if I move the fader all the way one end and all the way the other you'll see that it's actually showing me the actual value that's coming out of the fader now by pushing the fader all the way to the beginning you can then adjust the little trim pot down in here to allow that to set to zero and of course the other end you then allow the trim pot down in here to then set that to 255 and that way there you end up getting the full range of, of the fader and um, it's mostly done I'll, um, I'll do a, a proper video when it's all finished